What is going on guys, welcome to another awesome video, it's your boy Craig Say guys, I'm here with another tutorial on how to use Photoshop, basically the basics of Photoshop and everything you need to know if you want to make some awesome things on Photoshop. So let's get into the video. Basically guys, first thing you want to do is we're going to be making a banner here because that's a common thing people like to make for their YouTube channels. So the main dimensions for a YouTube banner is usually 1546 by 423. To do this, all you have to do is go to File, New, and type in... 1546 oh, can't type obviously 1546 and 423 make sure you have it set to pixels and press ok so to add pictures make sure you guys you click open for me I know I have my I believe it's my yeah my channel picture so we're just gonna take this you click over here is the fourth one from the left on the left side the fourth one and this is to select items and then you click up right here and you can change the size we're gonna change the dimension size to about 40 so I can outline this and as I outline this I want to make sure there's no lines where I want stuff to be picked up press command C or control C on your keyboard go over back to your original document control V and now as you can see there's lines around it that's because I click control T Control T allows you to change the size, things go like this, go like that. We want it the original file size. Stick that right here. Want to go a little bit like that. And boom, we have my character on here. Now I want to add a background. So I'm going to go to open. I'm going to pick a background. Let's pick this sky background I got here. Do the same thing as last time. You can change the size. And I want the whole thing. So I'm going to change to 5000. Control C. Control V. Then don't click you click control T but you don't click shift you can just drag it as much as you want so I'm gonna drag it like this I want the clouds to be kind of even on the screen drag it up and now where did my picture go well guys just click the little pointer icon drag my picture to the top and as you can see look I missed something in my picking it up on the other screen so I'm gonna delete this layer go click this tool go back over here change the size and fill in the part of the eye that I missed. Now click control C, click control V, control T, and we have my picture back and the eye isn't missing. Now we're done with this, let's add some text. So my channel name is Crex and I usually like the, let's see, let's use some Black Hawk. I'm gonna use Black Hawk, I want the lettering to be in white. Actually, I actually want the letter to be in black and I'll outline it. So I'll put, Crex and then I'll press space a lot. Actually, will not center it. Press space a lot. Do two or tutorials and I press enter. Now we have Crex tutorials as one thing. Press Control T and I can stretch it, make it whatever size I want to fit the screen. Now go over here, right click on your text, and this is actually for all items, but for right now I'm going to click on the text, I'm going to right click, click blending options, now you click stroke, the default stroke is usually in black, but you can change to whatever color, and change to white, and after that we're also going to add some outer glow, this makes the lettering pop out a little bit by adding some glow in the background, and also I'm going to click drop shadow and drop the shadow slightly, and also change the distance and change the spread. And then we get something like that. So now we have Crex Tutorials. This isn't my best work, definitely not my best work. But we have Crex Tutorials. I'm gonna change the spacing between some of these. And bring it like that. And now we have Crex Tutorials. And so some other stuff that's usually what people wanna pick up is, well, how do I like warp things? Warping is a very simple process. We're gonna do it on my picture actually. So you wanna click this the layer, you wanna go to Filter, no, not filter. Edit, you wanna to go to free transform or just transform. And I usually do distort or warp, we're gonna go to distort because that's usually what people mean when they wanna warp things. And distort is usually what happens when you press control T, but it actually adds a different little effect. So now I can drag my image, making him look like he's kinda of like leaning forward. I can then drag this top bit, drag the bottom bit, make it like all types of weird looking stuff. But there he goes, and now my character seems to have a lot bigger hair. I can then tilt it so the bottom hits the bottom of the frame, and now he looks like that. 
And last but not least, a very simple filter is black and white. So we're gonna click right here at the very bottom, click black and white, and now, oh no, it's just black and white, everything's a black and white. You click tint, let's say I want the tint to be purple. So I click over here, go to purple. Now, purple's covering everything, but I don't want it to. So I just scroll, bring my black and white filter from up here, bring it down here, and now everything in the background is purple. I can bring the text below that, and now the text is purple, or I can bring the text back up, and now the text is purple. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I know a few people would want this, but anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you guys did like this video and want some more tutorials on Photoshop or on HipFilm or any other software that I've done a video about already, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and hope you guys did enjoy this video. And make sure you guys share this to all your friends if they need help on the basis of Photoshop. I also do photo shots for people if you want a channel banner or something very simple. Not even simple, actually complicated. I do all types of stuff. You can see it on my channel. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment down below. Thanks you guys for checking out the video and seeing this on my channel. Peace. <laughs>